Oh, look at Frankie in his little makeshift office. Yeah, all right, so I'm trying to get some work done. We have um, clean up people here, junk removal people. We got a, a person coming out to give us a quote on painting the barn and the inside of the house. Um, we have an electrician coming to finish the electricity in the garage apartment. And then we have the septic tank yeah. people coming now, to clean out right. the septic, septic tank, tank right. which so is that's new. A, that's a new experience. Oh. But, um, Mm -hmm. For those of you that don't know what a septic tank is, it's um, basically there's no plumbing here. There's like no city plumbing. So a oh, septic sure. tank is a big old tank that's like dug into your under the ground, lawn right? or backyard or something under the ground. And all your toilet water and waste go <laughs> into that tank. <laughs> you have to get it cleaned out once a year or every yeah. two years depending on how much you Go. Your toilet, you know? <laughs> How many people live here? And... Anyway, I, yeah, I called. Also, I had to set up internet, right? It's, the Wi Fi is very important in our line of work. So I called Comcast and they don't service this area. They don't have a power <laughs> near here. So then I called ATT and they wanted. Um, third party company, right? Yeah, they were going to send me to a third party company. It was only going to be like 25 megabits per second and I need more speed than that. So our awesome friend Jessica gave us a suggestion of T-Mobile. T-Mobile. T-Mobile has like these little mobile hotspots. I can carry this anywhere and have some pretty good internet. Well, I shouldn't say that yet because I haven't tested it out, but I'm about to test it out <laughs> right now and see how good it is. So I can carry this anywhere. I can leave this in the house. I got another one for the barn. Um, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. <laughs> okay, the septic tank people are here. Gonna clean it out. Looking for the septic tank. Poking holes everywhere. Right. We'll see if we can find a pipe. Not a dig. <laughs> Meanwhile, we have the electrician up there and the junk cleanup crew. Do you guys clean out drains too? Like not really. Oh. We're not really plumbers. We just very natural. Plumbers. So really? how, how a septic tank just a works? Just in the ground. Right. Uh -huh. It's got a line coming in, a line coming out. Where the line coming in is about four to six inches above the line going out. So it's a holding tank. Mm -hmm. So it's always full with mm -hmm. water up to the line going out. Okay. So the line out here, you'll have a leak field. It's just like a plastic drain tile with holes in it. So since it's always full, as soon as you do something, like turn your water on or turn your shower on. The water comes in, drops down, goes right out immediately. As soon as mm. it comes in, it goes out, filters down through the ground, through the water table, back over here to your well, comes back up, then you reuse it again. It's oh. constantly being reused. Okay. So filters through the earth is what's clean them. Mm. The rock basin, so now it goes to the bottom, it's all purified water, comes back up. You go to use your toilet. You flush your toilet, right. water comes in, water goes out, gets out, all the solids go to the bottom. And no the bacteria down there starts breaking it all down and basically emulsifying it and turning it back to liquid with all the gray water. So as it goes in the gray water again, it just water goes out happened. constantly through. Gotcha. Now what happened about 10, 15, 20 years ago, everything changed. We used to have everything was a water-based product, had no effect on the septic tank. So people used to go 15, 20, 30 years without fucking tank. Mm -hmm. Now everything's a soybean-based product, which is water. All your soap, shampoo, laundry detergent, deportation, your body washes, yeah. shampoo, conditioner, has all oil in it, so it gets an oil layer on top of the water. Gotcha. So let it set it, let everything fall down to the bottom of the bacteria, break it up, it catches it and builds a scum layer up on top. Okay. So that's what gets you in trouble. And that's why we're pumping tanks out now every three to five years instead of 15 to 20 years. That's what you pump out, the oil well, we'll base take and stuff. Out, okay. But we have to do it sooner Mm -hmm. Because if that layer gets thick enough, mm -hmm. it'll actually block the line coming from the house, mm -hmm. so that it, you know it has to back up into the house. Mm -hmm. Or it could jump over your baffle wall and clog up your field tile line, and you have to replace the baffle. Line. Okay. So you want to have this pumped out on a regular basis, mm -hmm. depending on how big the tank is, how many people you have in the house, it will determine how often you have it done. Cool. But the biggest thing is to see how much garbage is sitting on top. Yeah. When we open this up, it should only see water. Okay. You be right. And the water acts just like the water that's in your tap. So it keeps the smell out in the ocean. Mm -hmm. The water sits on top of right. it so it doesn't stink. Okay. Now, if you don't have a baffle on the front side, which you don't necessarily need, mm -hmm. a lot of times 
and this is one of them loops that looks like it has one built in, but it doesn't. Now you can see. There's the bottom of your baffle. You can see on the. Let's see, see. It, see how it used to have one was attached there. Oh, okay. It's, it's mm -hmm. broke off. So you have an open line now, and we only see water, which is really good. Okay. okay. Good. Um, we put on that thing. <laughs> at my favorite spot for tacos and bourbonnais. Well, actually, it's the only spot I know of, so. The first time here, so it's exciting. Got to eat the tacos. Check out, check out the, the guy that's driving the truck. Tell, tell me who, it's look, who it looks like. <laughs> who does that look like? It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. It's funny. All right, so just had those tacos. They were pretty decent. They were better than the last time for me. You know, I had uh, I had two steak <laughs> and two tripa tacos. They were really good. I had two chicken ones and I loved it. It was yeah. scrumptious. Yeah, it was really good. So it's right. a good spot. Right? Good spot. I would recommend it to everyone that comes to visit us <laughs> in Burbank. You you get gas. You pump gas, eat some tacos and, and pick up, and pick up some beer, and, and then go wash. through the drive through. I mean, go through the drive wash. Uh, car wash. And then go through the car wash and go home in a clean car. You can do it all. Full, <laughs> clean car, liquor up. <laughs> yep. <laughs>